Awesome. Okay, hello everyone um, and welcome and happy 11-11. I am, I'm so excited. I've just been the whole day, I've been like buzzing. I've had the best day ever, so it's really cool. Um, and I just want to say like, welcome to everyone. Um, I'm just, yeah, I'm really stoked for this today. And there's just so much stuff coming through. And I feel like the last week has just been this bombardment of like downloads and new things coming through. And it's very much for me, I've been like experiencing a lot of body stuff. I've really been experiencing a lot of, um, it's almost like they, they like really working with our nervous systems at the moment. So there's just so much stuff coming in. And I'm excited for us to be able to explore that in the meditation today. So, so prepare yourself for some serious body work basically to come through. Um, and yeah, and then Karen, like, babe, how are you today? Uh, yeah, today's been interesting, hasn't it? Well, this week has been interesting. And I, I think, I think it may have been Charlie I was saying to you before. It's funny, isn't it? Because last, what, 10 days ago, we were in that place of Sawen. We were in that place that is darkness it is connection with ancestors it is like let's let's be clear here it is death mm -hmm. and now all of a sudden we're at 11 11 which is new beginnings it's this influx of cosmic energy it's, it's all of the things and as a consequence it feels a little bit and i think it's always this way at this time of year but especially right now it's a bit like a roller coaster you almost go right the way down and then all the way back up again and aren't quite sure where to settle in between times so i think everyone i've spoken to this week when i've said how are you doing they've all gone um yeah. yeah yeah it's just been a lot be good be that good be that bad be that a little bit of both it's been it's been quite big so I think I'm hopeful that after tonight's session you will all you will all be maybe a bit tired because we always are after these sessions let's be honest but hopefully a bit refreshed and a bit more kind of able to to have both feet in exactly where we're going moving forwards yeah um, so yeah I think that's me. I also am going to apologize before we get started because my dog has been super quiet all day. And then in the last 10 minutes, just started barking at something outside. So if while I'm channeling, you hear barking, there aren't suddenly wolves that have come in. It's just Callie deciding to join in. Callie's always part of the deal, right? Like Callie's always there in all the channeling. So it's all fabulous. And I think one big thing for me um, about all of this is... Um, like like I keep like that pendulum has been swinging right so like the roller coaster so it's been feeling like this but what I'm feeling is happening it's just like literally it's going like this the space for alignment is starting to open up for us mm. and so it's just like but we're talking like body mind soul alignment as well so I've been feeling that a lot like it's like literally like it's all coming together now and this is the start of it coming together so it's not like Tonight doesn't feel to me like it's going to be like woof, we're going to be aligned. This is like literally we have an opportunity for all of these parts of us to start the alignment process. So I, I feel very much like the like the next like probably I don't know two months, three months or so, like up until like we we start in spring here. But it's just like when we go into that, it's like then we can properly like start walking again. Yeah. Um, so now it's just like this is an opportunity for us to really like everything or the blocks are starting to fall in, the puzzle yeah. starting to take shape, if I can put it that way. Like, I feel like we're building the edges tonight. Yeah. So it's very much about creating that equilibrium again. Um, and, and just for me, <clears throat> I just want to say a big focus is also um, this, like the fear paradigms and stuff that we've been running on, like almost like that programming, that patterning, like that's something that is starting to shift big time. So a lot of what we are working with tonight, especially from my side, is like helping us to shift out of those fear paradigms and like basically get back into that space of like the minute we step out of the fear and we calm ourselves entirely down, it's just like everything opens up. It's just like, because the more I've been working with my nervous system over the last few weeks, like it's just like the shit's just falling in. It's like the downloads are like, because because we're not like in this this cloud almost in the fog anymore so yeah so that for me feels like really big for tonight as well so just want to say that so that's cool yeah okay so let's see so i think we'll start and um yeah everything's recorded so if you're watching the recording enjoy as well um and yeah so we'll start with karen's gonna go in first 
and then she'll hand over to me and then we just go from there so fabulous okay awesome so I'm going to take my glasses off because I can't channel with my glasses on so <laughs> As always, I'm going to start by grounding us in. So I just encourage you, if if you'd like to close your eyes, I will be. It's probably a good time to do that and then kind of lead into Yolandi's meditation afterwards. Um, so just join me in closing your eyes and take in a few deep breaths in. And out. And breathing in this space, this 11-11 energy what's coming through this portal, this newness, this moment, holding that in for just a moment and then allowing yourself to release on the out breath, letting go of any of the heaviness, of any of that fear that Yolandi spoke about, of anything that's holding us back. And again, pausing for just a second in that place of emptiness, knowing that at the moment you choose to take that breath in, all of those needs will be met. The air will be there. You will be filled. And then once again, just let go with the out breath. And as you keep breathing at the pace, the depth, the rhythm that feels right to you, I'm going to begin by calling in a circle for us, a safe and sacred space around all of us as though we were joined, those of us here live, those of us who are watching back later, hand in hand across the globe. I call out to the east and to the air, to the clouds, to the winds, to the birds and to the butterflies. I call to logic, to intuition, to inspiration and to rationality. I call to those gentle breezes and those great big gales, to the way that the wind is able to clear a path ahead for us, to show us exactly what we may have been missing otherwise. To the east and to the air, welcome. I call to the south and to the fire, to passion, to creativity, to action, to warmth, to those gentle flames of a torch, of a candle that illuminate the path forward for us when otherwise we've been scrabbling in the darkness, and to those great bonfires that were, are, and have always been the centre of our communities, the warmth, the illumination, the place to gather, to come together with our stories, with our support, with all that we need. I call to the volcanoes and to the dragons. I call to the flames and I call to the sun itself, to the south and to the fire welcome. I call to the west and to the water, to the whales and the dolphins, to the fish, to the waves, to those pools and those rains. I call to the still waters that give us those crystal clear reflections that help to show us the parts of ourselves that we've otherwise been missing. And I call to those great tides that wash away all that we no longer need and that bring in everything that is ours, everything that is ours to claim, to enjoy and to be blessed with without us having to do anything with those just washing at our feet. I call to emotion. I call to flow. I call to surrender and to the west and to water. I bid welcome. And I turn to the north and call to the north and to earth to the trees and to the mountains, to the stones and to the animals. I call to surety, to groundedness, to foundations and to strength. I call to the nourishment that comes with the earth, to the plants that grow all around us, providing us with everything that we need. I call to the animals that are our, our brothers and our sisters on this planet that we all call home. To the north and to the earth, welcome. And I draw the circle around us through time and space across the whole of our planet, from east to south to west to north, all the way back round to east, and ask that this be a circle of protection, of insight, of wisdom, of healing, and of all that needs to be shared on this powerful 11-11 day. I ask that this may be a circle that is gathered together in the name of Gaia, in the name of supporting Gaia, in the name of allowing Gaia to thrive, and in the name of all of those who stand here as her guardians, her protectors and her grid keepers. And finally, I call to the centre, to soul, to ether and to space. To our own souls, in all of their glory, all of their power and their wisdom, to our guides, our helpers, our ancestors, to all of those who come from the highest of vibrations and with the highest of intentions. I ask them to gather around us and to hold our circle, to hold our work, 
safely, securely, and in a space of absolute sacred energy. I ask that everything we do here at this time be aligned with the mystery and with all that we need to know, be, do, hear and feel. To the center and to soul, welcome. And I invite you now to grow, join me in grounding in. So begin by seeing that door opening at the back of your neck, at the place where your skull meets your spine, your causal chakra. See that root that is pure golden white energy begin to move out of this door and down like a tree root moving towards the earth. See it moving down your spine, getting brighter and brighter with each and every vertebrae it passes. And as that root moves downwards, see it becoming broader too, broader and broader until it holds your entire body, your entire energy body. And as that root breaks out of your own root chakra at the base of your spine, feel yourself held, feel yourself supported as that root begins to move down down through the chair or the bed that you're resting on, down through the floor of the room that you're in, down through the rest of the building that you're in and down through the floor and the foundations of that building, down into the earth's surface and on downwards, that root of golden white light that is your energy, that is your support system moving down through the soul of our planet, down through the soil and through the stone, down through the rivers and the streams below the earth's surface, down through the caverns and the caves of that beautiful, peaceful inner earth, down through the fires that protect the heart of our planet, the magma that surrounds the very heart of Gaia, and feel your own root move into the crystal core of our planet, the very heart of our planet. See in front of you a tree made of that same golden white light that as your own roots move towards her, the tree, opens up to you, recognizing you, welcoming you, stretching her own roots out to meet you and to invite you forward. And as your roots continue to move forward, they intertwine with the roots at the heart of Gaia, intertwining and allowing you to feel completely held, completely supported, completely safe with this tree, completely safe as part of this planet. And as you feel yourself held, feel that Gaia energy begin to flow all the way back up through your roots, back up through all those layers of earth, back up through all those layers of the building beneath you, back up through the furniture and all the way back up into your root chakra and all the way back up your spine. And as that Gaia energy flows through your spine, feel it moving out to every single part of you, touching, blessing every single cell with the support of Gaia, the nourishment of Gaia, the love of this planet of ours that, that holds us all so beautifully, that meets all of our needs and nourishes us all every single day. Feel that energy flowing through you, flowing out and around you and kissing every part of you as it reminds you of just how loved you are, just how safe you are upon this planet as part of this glorious ecosystem of Gaia. And with that energy flowing through, you see a second door open up in your solar plexus. A second door that begins to shine out of it. A beam of pure golden light. Golden light that has the texture of the sweetest honey. That moves up through your abdomen, up through your chest. All the way up through your neck and your head. And again, as it moves out of your crown chakra on the very top of your head. See that beam of golden light become brighter and broader until the whole of yourself, the whole of your energy is encased in this beam of light. And the beam continues to move upwards up through the air above your head, up through the ceiling of the room that you're in, up through the rest of the building and through the roof, out into the sky, up, up into the clouds, up and out through all those layers of the Earth's atmosphere, that glorious beam of golden honeyed light that stems from your own solar plexus moving out into the stars. And as it moves through the stars, feel it move past the stars, the planets, the universes and the galaxies through all of space, continuing to move upwards until it reaches a place that feels almost like the very edge of space. And you wonder if it can even go any further. 
And as that beam of light moves, feel it break through the very edge of space, breaking out into a place that is pure golden light, a place that is the very center of source, the very center of all that there is. See your beam of light, just plug itself in there perfectly easily, perfectly naturally, as though it's done it a million times before. And feel the energy of this place begin to flow all the way back down through this beam, back through those layers of space and sky, all the way back into your crown. That wisdom that is your soul, that power that is your soul, that sense of connection to all that there is, that is and has always been your own divinity, your own birthright flowing all the way back into you. And as it moves down through your body, down into your solar plexus and moves out, feel that remembrance, the remembrance of who you are, flow out to every single part of you. Feel it fill you, feel it move around you. I feel it spark with that Gaia energy too, the two dancing together, flowing together moving together in that perfect sacred marriage of the human and the divine of nature and source of divine masculine and divine feminine the two coming together and you as the perfect container for that energy allow that energy to flow in you through you around you and as you do we send out one final cord of connection and the cord of connection that moves out from your sacral center from that center that is the home of our own creative power and flies out a beam of white light, flying outwards, straight and true as an arrow, out through the center of the earth, out into the, the stars, and then moving through the stars so fast that those stars around you are a blur, until eventually there, there is no more blur. There are no more stars, there is no more light, except for your own, that perfect, pure light that finds itself in the very heart of the darkness of space but this is a warm dark a comforting dark a cozy dark that allows us to feel perfectly safe as our own cord of energy connects in here we find ourselves in the great cosmic center the womb of the cosmos the place where all things began this is the home of creation the home of possibility and as your energy connects in here you feel that possibility that creation, that opportunity begin to flow all the way back into your sacral center, back into your body, back into your energy field. And you feel it begin to drain away anything within you that's been stuck, anything within you that has felt flat and in need of rejuvenation begins to move back to that cosmic womb, back to be refreshed, rejuvenated, back to be brought back to you again in its fullness, exactly as it should be. And as we sit in that space, rooted into Gaia, plugged in the, into source, connected to the cosmos with all three of those energies flowing through each and every one of us, with all three of those energies flowing within and around our circle and blessing the work that we do here, I ask by divine decree in the name of Gaia, source and the cosmos, that this be a safe and sacred space, protected to the highest levels in which everything that needs to be heard done and felt, can be witnessed, can be experienced in truth and in its fullness. I ask this again in the name of Gaia, Source and the Cosmos. So it is. And I invite you to join me in that place, rooted into Gaia, plugged into Source, connected to Cosmos in circle with one another on this perfect 11-11 evening. As I welcome in whoever wants to speak with us this evening, whoever wants to make themselves known, to speak with you all through me now. We are blessed to talk with you on this night. We are blessed at the scale of the gathering that has come together to be known. 
within this work, which is so crucial to the future of not only your planet, but of more besides. You must understand that Earth, as with so many of the planets that have come to be known as home for beings such as yourselves, has always been something of an experiment. Is not everything we do an experiment? As with the child who takes their first step, sometimes they fall, at others they continue to walk, a smile of sheer glee upon their faces. Everything we do in every moment is an experiment. And this is not only the case within Earth, but within the whole of time, the whole of existence. We come to you this evening to speak with you not as those children who take their first steps, for that is not something that could be said about any of those gathered here, or indeed any of those within the wider world. We come from um, a galactic force, a council of beings that have long watched, witnessed those planetary experiments, the lives, the experiences that have taken place within them and upon them. We have watched as Earth has thrived. We have watched as Earth has fallen. And we have watched on every occasion as the beings of Earth have picked themselves back up once again. And at this time, when so many believe that Earth is destined to fall, to fail, to head only for destruction, I thank you. I thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my own hearts and beyond for the faith that you continue to show, for the courage that you continue to carry within yourself and your existence, for the way that you continue to move forwards, forwards with your own path within this life, forwards with your own work connected to this planet, forwards in the certainty, the belief and the knowledge of all that will be, of all that will come to pass upon this planet. You know, as I and my fellows know that there is no destruction ahead, only transition. And the transition is one that cannot be stopped now. We are in the throes of change. We are in the throes of a journey that takes us from the old ways into the new, and there is no way to pause that, no way to stop that, although I know all too well there are many who wish to step away. We all know, well, there are many out there who have indeed stepped away stepped away in turning from the truth of their own souls to carry through a life that is not headed towards that newness, a life that will require them at some time to be pulled back onto the path, or in many cases turned away and chosen to leave, chosen to allow this work to continue without them. It is vital that we do not judge those who have chosen either of those paths. Vital instead that we continue to focus on our own movement forward, on the trajectory of the change, the trajectory of the transition within which we find ourselves. And in so doing, we continue to stay focused on the goal. Earth requires you to continue in your place of connection. Not only to those who come to you from outside of Earth as myself. Myself is the Commander Ban, part of the Galactic Council who works so closely to oversee Earth. Not only in connection with those around you who do the same work, who have the same views as yourself, 
but in wider community also. Wider community in a spiritual sense with those who draw close to help you, with those who are as vital a part of this transition as any who have their feet upon the earth. Recall that each and every one of you has at your disposal a support team who chose to come to work with you from another realm, specifically to give you the support, the guidance, the help that you require at this time. Do not tarry in calling for their support. Do not hesitate in asking them to support you with even the smallest of tasks or concerns. They know in a way that you may indeed have forgotten that those with their feet upon this earth have much to do, much to consider. Those who have chosen not to be here in this time, in this place, physically, come from a different perspective, one that is somewhat more detached, one that is somewhat more able to truly support, to offer that help in all of those ways. Never, never fear to ask for that support. And know also the power of connecting to the physical communities around you, to those whose opinions are different to your own. We cannot change this world's current situation. We cannot move into a place of the new. We cannot move through this path of transition if we remain divided, fractured, splintered. We must reach out and cross the divides. We must offer up a non-judgmental heart. We must offer up a place of true alignment with all that we are, with our minds, with our bodies, with our souls, and speak to those around us as though they are adults. Again, they are not children taking their first steps. They make decisions that feel safe, that feel right for them. Your role is not to judge. Your role is to be, to be and to shine the light that is your own work here, your own pathway through this life, that it may illuminate something different for each of them, that you may provide them with support, whatever their choices may be. And I ask you to connect to your planet. The work you do here within this space is so vital, so beautiful. But there is more. There is more that should never be forgotten. Each of you stands every day with your feet upon a planet. Each of you stands every day within the resonance of the wisdom that is held on this earth. The wisdom that is carried by those non-human citizens of this planet. Why would you not connect to such wisdom? Why would you not remember that as a part of this ecosystem, as a part of this family of Gaia, you have at your disposal so much information, so much support. Those non-humans are waiting to support you, are waiting for you to be their mouthpiece are waiting for you to be their hands and their feet, those who spread the wisdom that they have so carefully guarded, held, worked with, supported. It is not the great ideas and inventions of man that will lead the way into the new age. It is the wisdom of nature, the wisdom of Gaia. When, pray tell, did you last sit with your back against a tree and allow it to tell you all that it had to share? When did you last listen to the sounds made by animals and allow them not only to filter into your ears, but into your heart, into your very being? And when, when did you stand amidst the rains not cursing how you are getting wet by the weather, but instead allowing that rain to touch you, allowing the consciousness of the water that falls upon you to bring its guidance, its insight, and all that it has to offer into your very heart. 
the time has long passed for us to tell you what to do. The time for those of us who exist outside of Gaia to direct and to force, that is long gone. You are too wise, too experienced for that, for although you may not always believe that. The time has come for us to offer you support, help, for us to offer you insight where we can, yes, but for you, the citizens of Gaia, to look within your planet, within every part of this planet and every being that calls her home, and to use the insights that are held there, the entire library of information that is held there, to show you the pathway forward. The time has come for you to join hands with the plants, with the animals, with the earth itself and with one another, more than anything with one another. And to lead your way into this new beginning, into the next age of earth, a one that will be marked with light, that will be marked with glory, that will be an age of truth from a place of love for all. Not the kind of blind love that forces you to look around you and think only positive thoughts at all moments, but the kind of love that allows you to see, to feel, to care, to empathize, and to wish to help and support even those with whom you have disagreement, even those with whom you carry anger or frustration. The time has come for you to recognize that Gaia is one, that all who call her home are one and have always been so throughout time, throughout history. The time has come for each of you to step up for yourself, so vitally for yourself, but also for your planet, for those who cannot speak, for those who cannot walk, for those who cannot move in the way that you move and enunciate all that needs to be shared. Every being on Gaia is dependent upon the responsibility of the humans. Every human who lives within Gaia has the opportunity to be a leader, a leader for themselves, for others and for the planet. And as commander of the Galactic Council, I ask you to take on that mantle of leadership, to lead in every moment of your day, with every beat of your heart, to lead, to connect and to remember the sacred duty that you agreed to upon your journey here to Gaia. I thank you for this platform. I thank you again for gathering in this sacred space upon this crucial day at this important time at this time, as Earth faces another rebirth, I thank you and I bid you farewell. Yolandi? Yeah, perfect, thank you. Tasin diola kera mashingo rosheki liviasen. Aterotia la mahe corosia senda la hebera secutiana, hemia masse corosia stetilia fask. Sindoto yakia matara, selasia coro, sandalia para secundia la mahe oia trena shiki. Asiava seculo, sheki rama selosin, dara secutia rama secundo loco hiaten. Aia selakiara secuna, hia semba se corosia kelasia se. So as you find yourself here standing with me today, with your feet firmly planted on Mother Earth right now, 
visualizing yourself right in the middle of a beautiful, beautiful big jungle, trees everywhere, feeling that warm, warm air on your skin and just allowing yourself to take in whatever is around you at this point in time. And I'm asking you now to start following me through this jungle as we start walking. Gently, gently taking step by step, moving towards this beautiful, beautiful pyramid in front of us. This ancient, ancient Mayan pyramid rooted into this earth seeing the stairs going up all the way to the top and allowing yourself now to walk with me and as you take your steps on the ground towards these beautiful staircases running up i want you to look down on the ground i want you to see the movement on the ground see what's happening look at all the insects moving see if there's any animals any reptiles anything moving on the ground for you i want you to feel into what is happening around you at this point in time and if you're standing here feeling unsettled before we go, I want you to pinpoint what you are looking at. If there's anything on the ground here around your feet that's making you feel uncomfortable, I want you to acknowledge it tonight before we step onto this platform. <laughs> There are many snakes, Doroshiake, there are many creatures, Doroshiake, all around. And as you step through them, if they are making you feel uncomfortable, you need to acknowledge this tonight because they are a representation of everything, Doshiala Serekiande, that you keep pressing down. They are a representation of the parts of you that scares you the most, Doroshiala Sekurisiande. And I want you to stand firm in the sphere i want you to look at it but also as you stand here be in the realization that all of these things that you are seeing around you is made up by you all of these things that you are seeing around you you are creating in every moment of this day as you think every moment of this lifetime as you create within your imagination and within your fear senses you are creating this unease that surrounds you these things that you love to call your blocks you are creating all of them your disconnection that you perceive you are creating all of that around you in every moment of every single day so i want you to physically see yourself taking that first step up onto this platform, Doroshake, onto the first step of this beautiful building. See yourself stepping out of the discomfort. See yourself stepping out of this uneasiness that you have created here around your feet. And as you start walking up, see yourself leaving that behind. See yourself saying goodbye to these parts of you that you have created based on the fears of actually looking at yourself so as you keep walking up 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 to the top of this beautiful pyramid every step that you take on these steps you're firmly Placing your feet back into a state of ease, back into a state of higher perspective with every single step that you take. And I want you to just stop for me and look back. And I want you to see what's happening on the ground there. I want you to understand 
what you are doing to yourselves every single day, Horoshi and Dalasakiala, by allowing yourself to be Doroshiatata, full of fear, to be scared by all of these things here that surround your feet, Doroshiagalatara Yambase Kudoratoshiate. And see as you walk up, start walking up again, up, up, further up, Soloshia Kerasianda. You can start to understand why you've been creating these images of fear within your own being. Why you are making the choice every day to not open, to not open more. But we understand because that all, all of that that you feel, that you see, that you create down there, you have been helped by many to create those fears. And as the energies of earth, and the people, keep on creating these fear patterns and you walk through them every day and you connect with them every day and you feel all of the energies of this entire planet every single day. But can you see how easy it is to move yourself out of those energies? up into a different perspective so as we walk up right to the top now onto the big 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 platform right at the top of this pyramid right in the center of this pyramid is the altar is the beautiful stone altar and seeing yourself now walk towards this altar placing your hands both of your hands firmly on this altar seeing yourself standing there and as you plant your feet here as you plant your energy here feeling your energy expanding feeling yourself feeling your soul feeling all of this all of who you are your expansive energy your magnificence your beauty your love and when you look back down over your shoulder, you see how those do not belong to you. They are not of you. Those ideas, they are not of you. And as you stand here now, Seeing this energy, Dorosia Celestia, starting to rise, Rotiata, right from the center of Gaia, Moloshia Kerasiata, this beautiful Sundaratia Kelitia, this energy, Dorotianda, which is not of a color that we know, Dorosianda Lakiambase, Corosia Te, this Dorose. Uh, it looks like it looks like it's it's almost like all of the colors of the rainbow, but it's got this oof, this weird gray sheen around it. And as it starts coming up, through all of the layers of earth, through this sacred building, and right into your legs, up into your spine, and all the way to the top of your head, allowing yourself to be in this energy, allowing the earth to calibrate you back into her resonance right now, so what she is saying is that when we are going through these days where our fears elevate, we we are bombarded by what is happening in the media, where by the energies of those people that we love around us, we go out of resonance with this beautiful 
Uruta Tailia K frequency of her Zoroshiam Vase Kuroto. And when you are out of this resonance of the frequency, Sandalekia Trendia, the fear responses within your being is heightened. Uloshia Kerosiandara Tetalianda, Hingurusia Teteliam. So when she brings you back into the resonance, Zorosolosia Kerasiam Vase Kuroto, and out of the frequency of that, Yoratoto, and back into your frequency, back into her frequency, back into the frequency of alignment to Roshi Angele Sia Treki Anda Sukuroto Sia Sekuro Sia Andala Mahi Kuroten Itia Tratelia Tenguse and this is really really vital your Seresion Goro Seta La Tenda Kia Parata so so making the time to go into the frequency seeing that coming into your body on a daily basis will also help you to not get attached to those energies to allow those energies to go into your frequency, those energies to pull at your frequency and to take you out of this place of balance, this place of that she creates for you. So feeling your whole body in complete frequency alignment with earth right now. I call on the beautiful energies of our Pleiadian Guru Siatata brothers and sisters, allowing them now to enter Rosia Leso Kurote and Data into the space. And seeing the beautiful star being Golosia Kiatata and Deresia Tekin standing right behind you now, Hyondro Sokorosi and Dalate. And as they start to Rosin Dalakiatata, right from the base of your spine, Lalindio Tarokusia Tretindia Latrandia Ma. And as they start working the beautiful energies, Hyombara Seku Tretiata gently up your spine manekolo trongia tresia te gently up your spine masingurusia talata weaving it back into iandrosia keleteretia ten the nervous system durusiam balase kuruto weaving it back into retia latrata the entire spinal cord yondoro to kuruto ndile treande and as they take these energies up dorosia kela tarata tangisi right through to the top where the skull meets yongo seratiate right into the center litia treten and allow it to hook into dorosianda the center of the brain alelia trengusia kendikia tre and as they infuse this light now up and down your spine dorosia telekiande seeing all this beautiful dorosia taratata golden golden light now running into your body, into your nervous system, your entire nervous system, unlocking the new energies that's coming out your back right now, the new energies that are busy connecting you back into the blueprint of your soul. And as we are now, Toroshi and Dalasa going through Tatarandia Talatangiate, these massive resets and upgrades, Toroshi and Dalata, within our Kutundro Talekiata, our primal systems, Posetria Telekiandre. You need to understand that you as a human race have gone through this entire evolution from the beginning. You have started evolving so quickly that your bodies are now going through such a big change and they are needing to be upgraded at this point in time. They are needed to be like to realign to the grid of this earth to the energies of this earth and she has literally been waiting for us 
She's been waiting for us to be ready to plug back into the points to Roshia Kelesia Treki and Darasikuti, where we are on this planet, your Rotongoriate, and where you are or where you are choosing to go and where you've been called to go, Hande Troshiake, that is where you are plugging into all of this. Positrendia talarindia tekiate. But your body, Sia Rase Kurosi and Dalasa, has to be ready for this, Yamborose. Your fear mechanisms, your rotoloto, your ancient programming around fear, porose lekiate, your survival instincts, torose indeliatre, kutiate, indalehiamate, kiatren, those are keeping, doroshia taletiata, they are keeping you small, torosia angeros indalakiate. And if you start understanding your evolution now, torosia andekiandalakiama, as you start understanding your evolution, borosi kiara se talatia trete anda, as a beautiful divine being, doroshia andalakiara se koro. You can understand that by allowing these systems, these old programs, to go to uncreate and destroy them tonight, you open up the new universes to yourself, the new grid systems to yourself, all of the new energies to you para singulusiase and as you are here to receive the information now to bring so much more into this place into this planet into the awareness of those that walk with you to those that you love that those that you want to share with that we get into the space of understanding that these fears that we have been so so conditioned into, so working with because it has been part of our physical being that is no longer required. You are here to be free of all of the fears. You are here to have an experience on this planet fully integrated to all of her energies without anything blocking your view, without anything blocking you feeling everything, the joy, the sadness, all of the polarities, all of it. And part of this, when we start moving and upgrading these parts of ourselves, the judgment, the fears of others, the division, all of that comes full circle back into the divine heart and becomes a fountain of love that you carry in your beautiful, beautiful human body. Because you are this cauldron of divine love. All of you carry within your sacral space, within your womb space, all of this energy of creation, all of this energy of divine love that sparks all of this. So when you open yourself up, and you allow yourself to drop all of the fear tonight. You give yourself permission to step out, to open up, and to love Toroshiake, and to give Torosia Kandala, and to receive Positeraniyama. Itiala Koton. Se tono yamahi kurusia pa se kutoloni traniyama takila shotro chakendi anitliatya mataki sarase kunu inya para sengolo shakira nalahe kutoro no tayaten asindolo shakira se kurutin dalakiamam harison dakiyama se kutoro anyatata and all of this information dorosia de this ancient information dorose lekia the information doto the wisdom that is within this planet mosekia ratelosia ke the access that you seek yorosengilisia ke kiretiata is beyond the fear mosekiretia larata 
Kusin Data, the reason why so many of you are not accessing this Porosiki has because of the fear of not trusting yourselves, Torosiata. But it's all right there, all of these amazing strands of information lying right in front of you. The biggest tapestry Orosialake of energy Taraten that you can imagine right in front of you. And all we are asking you is to step one step forward, Toroshota, bend down and start picking up the strands of information that this gorgeous planet is it's got laid out in front of us like massive carpets, Orosiangesa. And all of this is available to everyone, Dorosiangele, Tiarambe, Sikutiane. But you have to step beyond the fear. So take a moment tonight to allow yourself, Dorosiate to allow yourself to make a pact with you, with you and your soul. Allow yourself to commit to going through here, to walking through this life, one step beyond the fear. Always, always tuning into your energy, your trust, your being, your lightness. And knowing that everything is right here for all of us. Sekundara kialan. Shunda sekutra niliyama ekutreni vasekulisiam. Ishokara se. Ndale kutrandiate. And as we now invite the siokoro sendelekia in the beautiful energies, Dorota, the cosmic energies to start raining down Rolochiata into our energy systems tonight. As we pull in the streams of energy, Torochiata ki salisium arekote, that our beautiful, beautiful star beings, Furose Late and are showering upon us right now. And Dakiarambale Kutu. And every day as we step, we receive more and more and more from them. And you need to understand that all of those beautiful codes that they're sending, the information that they're sending, all of that is connected to the carpet of wisdom of Gaia as well, in Delisiako, because they are all working together. None of this is disconnected. When we come to the greater plan, to the greater vision, of running all the way full steam back ahead, back into the divine heart, back into divine love again. And in time, all of this, all of this will be clear. So take a deep breath in now. Deep breath in. And now seeing yourself just thanking the beautiful guides here on the top of this pyramid. And as you start slowly, slowly making your way down, I want you to look at the ground again down there. I want you to look through your new energy. I want you to look at all the possibilities to see the tapestry of light woven into the fabric of Mother Gaia. See yourself walking towards it, back down. Visualize yourself stepping onto that energetic field. Standing there as this beautiful divine being, Toroshiake, this connected being. In perfect resonance with her energy, Siota Iliangoro Sekianda. And just take a moment and bend down and place your hands on the carpet, the tapestry of light, Sotorosiange. And just take a moment to allow it to fully sink into your body. Sale Sotranek. Fully. Remembering all of it again. Yasokorose. Dale kudronose kiamase lashias. And as you gently stand up again, 
I want you to walk with me now all the way back through the jungle, back to the point where we all started from, Paseo Colosin. And as we walk all the way back, all the way back, we plant our feet firmly in the space, in that exact spot where you started. And we take a moment to thank all of the beautiful guides tonight, to thank Gaia, to thank all of the information that came through for us, Diorase, the beautiful council that joined us tonight, Doro Shekele with the beautiful messages, Hare Tandi Allah, all of our star being brothers and sisters, Oroshi Andala Kiondra Sikutim, all of it, all of it. And as you now see yourself pulling all of your energy back into your body again, starting to gently sway, gently move yourself back into this dimension. Just move your body, allow yourself to come back. And as I now close the sacred circle, Doroshindalase, Ranikurama, Lekurochiane. Atreko lesi atren, ami atreko shela, evere si akendra ke, ali apatreko si ana, imi aporo si akali ana atreko si ande. Mdase kora li basiki andarata. Toshiake, thanking all of the beautiful guides, Dorosingi aten, dalamiki atre sokoroni ate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And just take a moment to also thank yourself tonight for showing up for you, for all of the possibilities that lie before you, for all of the love that you hold within you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, gently start moving around. And just bring yourself back into the space slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay. Go on mute. Unmute too. <laughs> okay. Cool. Right. I think I need some water now. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, so everyone back in their bodies, everyone back in the right dimensions here. <laughs> Are you back? <laughs> everyone back in their right dimensions, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, right, so have a fabulous, fabulous um, day, evening, wherever you are in the world, sleep. I think I'm going to sleep like a rock tonight. And just sending you so much love and thank you so much for joining us, Karen. Yeah. Thank you all very much. Um, have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, wherever you are. Um, and yeah, plenty of water, plenty of rest. You know yeah. the drill. <laughs> and we'll see you all again very soon. Be kind to your bodies as well. We did like, yeah, big body work. So that's always going to be, yeah, water and sleep. Go clear. <laughs> exactly it. <laughs> Thank you, people. Sending Thank so you. much love to all of you. Have a fabulous, fabulous week. And um, we'll hopefully like, yeah, see you in a month's time or so. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Bye. Okay. Bye, everyone. I'm going to stop the recording. Uh...